here we are with another uh, game review. This time uh, we're going to look at Game Over on the uh, Commodore 64. In the background you can hear uh, quite a famous uh, tune by uh, Martin Galway featuring his uh, sampled uh, drums. Uh, Right, so uh, let's uh, let's begin. Now this game was originally um, released on the ZX Spectrum, I think, or possibly the Amstrad, but, uh, but, but one of those machines anyway, um, by Dynamic, who are f famous for making really hard games, but but they, but they did make good use of those machines. And the Commodore 64 is obviously converted in-house by Ocean. Uh, And as you can see, it's a flick screen sort of platform shooter thing. Uh, controls are controls are quite sluggish actually. Uh, you can't once you've jumped, you're sort of committed. You can't change direction, and you can only jump. You can't jump different distances. You know, you jump this huge distance that you know. It's quite difficult to judge, uh, especially against these plat these uh, li little lifts that go up and down. Very difficult, uh, very difficult. Right, let's try again. Oh, my that. The graphics are quite smart, actually. Uh, very colourful. Uh, uh, quite nicely, uh, nicely done. The graphics, uh, the sound effects themselves are a bit, a bit dull. You're outside. I mean, I, I like all the backgrounds. Uh, spaceships are good. But the actual gameplay itself uh, is a little dull. Uh, and the controls don't help. I, mean, I think the controls are a bit more responsive. Maybe uh, it would be a, be a bit more fun. I've never uh, actually played this on the ZX Spectrum. Uh, it might be, might be better. I'm not sure. I'm not doing too badly here. I think there's a boss here. Yeah, he's quite hard. But I seem. Well, I was going to say I did have a shield, but it's gone now. I think, I think you have to shoot him 30 times or something. Yep, he's gone. Oh, you don't want that purple thing, that's instant death. Looks like I've got no way of not picking it up. Oh. And a lot of things are annoying delays when you lose a life. You've got to wait till your little spinning corpse flies off the screen. There we go. It wasn't, didn't take too long that time, but sometimes it does. Uh. Oh, that's a joke. I don't want to pick up that purple thing. Ah! Oh. Well, that's game over. Literally game over. Uh, there's not really much more to show you. Uh, I'll just turn off. There's not much more to show you. Uh, it's fairly dull game. You know, to be honest, it's just. There's, 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 uh, it's not really that much fun. Uh, graphically, uh, it's okay, but uh, it's, uh, there's nothing that really inspires you to get it further. Um, yeah, it's not one of. Uh, in fact, uh, I'm not sure it was released by Ocean. Uh, uh, well, I guess it was released by Imagine, which was um, sort of owned by Ocean at, uh, at that time. Yeah. Well, I'll give this. Um, it's a very average game, so I'll, I'll give it an average score. I'll give it five, five out of ten, and that's with an extra point just for the music, uh, which is which is a good tune, but um, can't save the game, I'm afraid. Right, see you in the next video.